you should make the best effort as an IT administrator or a business owner to protect the data of your users and also your customers as well. If there were to be a data breach, the light is gonna be shone on you and people will start asking questions. What methods did you use to protect the data? What steps did you take to protect the data? What consultants did you engage to make sure that you had configured this application to best practice? And if all you can say is I went into the admin panel and I clicked whatever boxes I thought were appropriate, that's probably not gonna be enough to help you to make sure that you are compliant and that you pass the audit or you escape jail time if there's been a data breach. Can I comment on Google and HIPAA? What are the risks in using Google Workspace and how to ensure compliance? There's a lack of information and the majority of companies I know prefer non-cloud-based software or they develop their own for file sharing. I have to preface this video by saying this is not legal advice and I am not a lawyer and so I can't give you official advice on your compliance needs for your business. You will need to do your own research and also have formal consultants help you to manage things. However, my experience of using the Google ecosystem is that there are a number of features to help with your compliance needs. Google have a guide on HIPAA compliance specifically, which will help businesses to ensure that correct privacy principles are followed if you are in the financial, legal services, or medical fields. Now, most of my experience has been working with Australian-based businesses in this field, but most of the privacy principles can pretty much be applied whether you're in Europe and working with GDPR, if you're in the US and HIPAA compliance is important there. In Australia, we have what's called Australian Privacy Principles, and we also have another framework called Essential 8. Now, the way that we approach these when it comes to Google Workspace is that if you are a small business and you need help making sure that you are compliant, it probably makes sense to work with a consultant to help you get that done. And so you can work with IT Genius, or you can work with our sister company, Onsite Helper, if you're a large business. And either of our businesses will be able to help you with your compliance needs and enabling the correct features inside of Google Workspace. We have a long checklist that we use with customers that are either in legal, financial services, consulting, or the medical fields. And we can help to employ some of those compliance features to make sure that your account is locked down. For most businesses, that means upgrading to the enterprise license SKU because the enterprise license SKU gives you the ability to set tools like DLP or data loss prevention, which will automatically scan emails going out of your business and make sure that there's no personal information going out like Medicare numbers or social security numbers, making sure if you're in financial services, nobody's credit card numbers are accidentally being stored in plain text. All of those little things that a normal business probably wouldn't have to worry about, but a business that has to meet compliance does need to worry about because there's penalties if you don't, they can pretty much all be enabled inside the enterprise version of Workspace. And once some of those policies are enabled and the HIPAA compliance is switched on, it goes a long way to making sure that you are compliant. And you just, in most cases, need to show to your regulatory body or to the person who is auditing you what practices and measures you've put in place. Now, here's where I get into my personal opinion and a little bit outside of advice giving. And again, I've got to be very careful to say that I'm not a lawyer, but I will give you my best opinion of this. My understanding is with these principles that you should make the best effort as an IT administrator or a business owner to protect the data of your users and also your customers as well. If there were to be a data breach, the light is going to be shone on you and people will start asking questions. What methods did you use to protect the data? What steps did you take to protect the data? What consultants did you engage to make sure that you had configured this application to best practice? And if all you can say is I went into the admin panel and I clicked whatever boxes I thought were appropriate, that's probably not gonna be enough to help you to make sure that you are compliant and that you pass the audit or you escape jail time if there's been a data breach. So my strong recommendation is that you work with an expert to help you manage this. There are administrator guides for HIPAA compliance in the US that help you to configure Google Workspace for that, but they are many, many pages long and our team have implemented this for many organizations. So it might be easier just to work with a consultant and have our team help you to get that done. Good luck with that. There are some other videos on my channel. If you search for the words medical or privacy or compliance, you'll find some of my other thoughts and some of the other strategies for how to implement different compliance levels within the business. And we also did just previously a three part series. If you check out the video, on the essential eight security processes for Australian businesses. This can potentially be applied 
more broadly as well. It's a very useful framework for the basics of thinking about different levels of security and how to manage them across your business. So I'd recommend you check out those videos. If you search for the words essential and the number eight on our channel, you'll be able to find that series. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.